Anyway, we're getting underway. Duel at Dawn going to be the first map for the Storm Riders. We have the fancy Amabula being piloted by Dementio. On top, we have a Hades with Artemis on the wings and Carinade Flamer on the lower decks. We also have the Lib GTK, a Pyramidian being piloted by Luyo, so you got to do this quick. Uh, Gatling and Mortar forward with a Carinade and Flare on the port side. And for the blue team, we once again have the Blenderfish, which is unsurprisingly the Blenderfish, piloted by Fiasco Total with the same Flare Flamer support. And to wrap things up, we have the Metaminion, which looks surprisingly familiar with that uh, Hades Artemis. And, and also uh, low to the grounds. Banshee Flamer to the side. Yeah, boy, uh, getting some deja vu here, Oracle. <laughs> Lib GTK coming up over the ribs. Blenderfish gets a nasty bounce, does a lot of damage to its balloon, and stops its upward momentum. Now the Mortar going to come out on the Metamidian a little bit early. Gatling going to come out as well. Mortar, I guess, just testing the waters. Armor goes down. Mortar going to be timed perfectly. Metamidian falls. Oh, man, that Laser was an quick. extra Artemis from the fancy that finished him off. I think that Mortar does just a little quick little test of the beating. Like, is this thing on? Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Blend they can afford to. They had the fancy there. Now the Blenderfish is burning oh, nasty. Man. I am liking this this Mobula build. They're going in with Bump. that Gat Carinade. Unfortunately, you can't really wow. do the ramming. That's a lot of fun to do in a Gat Caro uh, Piri, but they are just absolutely roasting that poor Blendy. And... Nope. Oh my goodness! There, there, there he goes. Go. Artemis does it. Wow, Fancy that gets was the kill. A that was a quick engagement. I mean, the, the Metamidian and uh, the Blenderfish are not built uh, for defensive maneuvers and i would really like to see that blenderfish get in on the fancy before the fancy can get in on him um i mean if i think i feel like whoever pushes the offensive here is going to win because both of them have offensive builds even with that hades it is mid-range offensive building not defensive yeah it's really hard to get aggressive against the riders though because Absolutely. that's what the riders do they are aggressive yeah always <laughs> Not not wolf pack levels of aggressive, but up there. They're a little they're a little bit more mediated, and they don't have the overpoweredness of the Gatling Mor of the old Gatling mortar. So of course they can't do that. But they're they're more methodical about it. But the lib bounces, oh, sits armor, rough bounce. Uh, Artemis, however, does not have enough damage to do anything permanent. However, it takes them a long time to get their hull back up Oof. while the Moby gets sandwiched. Now, the Lib GTK, the Artemis wasn't hitting the hull, it was hitting the engines mostly. Oh, and the I Lib see. GTK's engine column was gone as the Blenderfish finished off that Mobula. Now, the Lib GTK in a lot of trouble. We may be looking at another quick two kills for the other side. Carinade going to continue ripping through the balloon and the armor of the Lib, doing quite a bit of damage. And the Blenderfish wants a quick kill before that Mobula can respawn, so it's coming in hard. Gatling uh, going down to the Blenderfish, trying yeah. to disable that Carinade, but it's not going to. Yeah, Lib that GTK's mortar just does armor not have the arts it needs to be able yeah. to support him. Um, oh, a little bit of friendly bumpage, but I think the lib is just just too far gone at this Round. point. And just a turn around, Blunderfish. Did either of them take any permi? No, not at all. No, Both no permi hole. One hundred brand new engagement. It's like we just started this match. Yep, uh, actually, the Blunderfish. Yeah, Blunderfish is full. I t I'm looking. Are, are there yeah. any pixels, pixels missing? Yep. <laughs> yep, that's exactly what I did because it looks like there's a little bit of extra white over there on the Blenderfish. I thought the yeah. same thing. Okay, I'm, I'm not just crazy here. No, no, don't worry. Unless we're both crazy, which is a definite possibility. We're both bonkers. <laughs> we're casters. We, that, that, that's why we do this. We are bonkers. We're GGK right now. Taking a pretty defensive position out in the open. It wants to try to make sure it can spot the Metamidian and Blenderfish. I think that the Riders uh, are stymieing their aggression a little bit here. They're nervous. This is very nervous play from them. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, we just saw how quickly uh, those two kills were, were picked back up by the uh, Thralls and Friends. Um, and, and, I mean, I, 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 I'm imagining that they don't want that to happen again. I mean... Call me crazy, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's uh, not what they're trying to get going this match. No. no. <laughs> You're crazy, man. <laughs> Dude, dying is the best part of Guns of Icarus. Oh, Just yeah, that totally. spawn menu, oh, so satisfying to click on those buttons and click respawn. Gorgeous. The, the only thing that's better is a meat grind, man. Oh, man, love me some meat grind. I remember the first time I heard the term meat grind. I was like, what? <laughs> Daddy, would you like some sausage? <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking, that is the strangest, like, you know, vernacular. But 
I, a, I, there's, I think there's it's a vocab great. word for you. There, there's a vocab word for you, kids' vernacular. Yeah, you use that in your English project. Blenderfish yep. coming around the side. If it gets the jump on the fancy, it is going to be a massive advantage. Spot goes out. Metamidian spotted. Blenderfish is not spotted, though. And Carinade shots go out on the fancy. Oh, Blue's gone. Blue is out already. I mean, wow. it's, that, it's just this big, squishy target. Oof. And it, the mobile has ram. such huge vertical acceleration, which is one of its greatest assets when it's flying around. But once that balloon goes down, that means it drops like a rock. Yep, and it dropped hard. LibGGK getting shots in the meta midian, not quite able to bring down the armor. One engine was down, but that's not going to be nearly enough. Now the flamethrower going out in the fancy. And if there is one thing that Mobulas hate more than losing their balloon, it's fires everywhere. Absolutely, because the thing with the Mobula is you need as many guns shooting as possible. And when you have one engineer who's... Um, if both engineers are trying to get on the balloon in the hull, then, I mean, you've lost two-thirds of your damage potential. Fancy using Drogue Shoot to try and slow it down, but that's just going to leave the guns of the Metamidian in arc. The Fancy is not looking pretty. Blenderfish, however, eating a lot of damage from LibGTK. It's going to be forced to Hydrogen up. Takes a little bit of permal hull damage, but most of the mortars go wide, but the Metamidian gets the Goomba Stomp. There it wow. goes. That was, that was a beautiful Hydrogen, right? As, like, they got one, maybe two mortars to connect before Blenderfish is back in an excellent position to get more balloon disables while the um, Lib focuses on the Meta Midian. God, it's so weird having the Meta Midian not be the Meta Midian in this engagement. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, uh, Blenderfish. <laughs> think twice. Blenderfish <laughs> makes sense um, as the Lib gets ground out. Um, unless the Fancy can get a really good spawn back in in that, um, and if he grabs that Alpha 5 position, he might get some good shots off on the Meta Midian. Maybe, but the Lib GTK is in a lot of trouble. It's not grounding out anymore. The Blenderfish could not keep the Carinade on the balloon, but the armor drops. Metamidian looking Fancy for the Banshee for the get kill. Look at them that. Off two, four thralls and friends. This is a drastically different team than we saw at the very beginning. Just get absolutely just jumped on. And I mean, they're playing more aggressively now. And it's and they're coming out better for wear, not worse for wear. Better for wear. That's a term now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Just like, just like I said, Kirk knows what he's talking about sometimes. Well, the Goob and friends are doing a remarkable job of putting that blender of fish where it needs to be, specifically oh. behind the Mobula. Yeah. The Medimidian oh, yeah. is the one that's sort of poking out, you know, looking for the riders where they expect them to be, and as soon as they get the spot, the blender fish comes through the clouds. Uh, does the Lib have a flare? I thought it did. It does. But it's they're not, not using it. it. They well, really need to start using that flare to spot the blender fish. I don't think they have time to because, like, as soon as they get in engagement and the Blenderfish starts moving around, the Lib is usually already in engagement with the Metamidian, so that main deck NG is probably making sure that hole stays up. Oh, Blenderfish spotted and it's taking fire. Metamidian gonna nudge that Goldie along as it charges for the Fancy, but the armor on the Blenderfish is down. It rams, but all that damage oh, goes no. into the hole. Oh, Blender just rammed with no armor into a Mobile with full armor and did a whole lot of nothing has just gotten himself into that burst flamer. Everything is cooking. And... Good looking. Oh boy. The oh, armor is They are tanking so that hard. hull. They are just wow. It is a miracle that they lasted as long as they did. Metamidian trying to rise up above that mortar. Um, he's... Is he backing Ooh. up? He should be. Look at that Hades landing into the easy shot on the armor on the fancy. Banshee, Banshee coming out as well, trying to buy a little bit of time, but the Lib GTK, it's a Meta Midian. It's got shots on the Meta Midian. Oh, is this uh, going to go down 4-4? Four, four. Oh, my. Fancy's got a Nick, like, one Artemis shot off of their off of their Perma. They can pretty much get themselves running up maximum capacity. Uh, I mean, it's negligible, the damage that they have right now. And um, the Thralls and Friends are spawning in Echo 1 versus the riders uh, alpha five. Oh no they're splitting up ooh very interesting go go check out the map look where the look where thralls and friends have spawned i agree with this I, I i like it too actually i agree with this a lot like the difference between so right now we've had four engagements mm -hmm. and the only difference between them the only real major difference between those is whether the blender fish has gotten spotted before it hit the fancy yeah. That's yeah. really what matters in these engagements. Can the Blenderfish get behind the fancy? Right now, the riders are putting their backs against a wall, doing what they can. I think they recognize it as well, and they're just trying to make sure the Blenderfish doesn't come around from behind them. However, at the moment, 
they have no clue where the blender fish is and it's yeah, gonna work its way behind the clouds they Look pulled at that. A, they pulled a really nice dupe because why wouldn't you spawn on top of your meta minion when it's four four why would you leave him out alone so fancy is holding out right now and lib is holding out right now because i think they think the blender fish is in there with him somewhere yeah um, He's got a hole. Oh, there's oh, the spot. He got spotted. Ah, he should have held out a little bit longer. Is he still rushing in? No, 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 no. Hold out, Blender. Yeah, all right. He's holding position now. They've got to pick a target. Looks like they picked the Blendy. Um, Good target. Up. Yeah, I, that's that's definitely the target I would go for. Uh, Meta Midian has got to close in now and try to get... He's got to land those Hades. Those Hades have got to land. Now, the Blenderfish is going to use the Balloon as a shield to keep those Hades and Artemis from landing where they need to, specifically on the gun and the hull. But this has opened up the Fancy to shots from the Meta Midian. LibGTK coming split. around from Fancy behind. Hull. Heavy shots coming in. Artemis oh, no. landing solidly. Where is that Meta Midian? Why is he not engaging as best he can? He's getting that Blenderfish right now. Because the because the lib did a lot of damage to it, and now the fancy is all alone. But the mortars are gonna rain in. They're going into the balloon, and the there's, armor comes back up. But they get some... the goomba stomp. They throw them down into oh, the but ground. Them only right on top of the fancy. Who is getting? Ooh, oh, oh my gosh! Wow, that was holy cow. That was a finale. The Blenderfish did a great job of making sure that even when it was taking damage, the carronade was still going on the fancy, and that allowed them to pick up the kill. Yeah. Only barely. Oh my gosh, that two more seconds and the the blenderfish would have been down. I one of the th one of the tactics that I see is so effective yet so underutilized against metamidians is balloon blocking. There's absolutely nothing that a gap mortar can do against your balloon. It's basically a shield at that point. Uh, and the uh, the blenderfish did an excellent job of using that shield, so the gatling and the mortar were completely useless, and he could just focus on that moby. Well, the reason uh, the reason the Gap Mortar didn't do as much that time was because in that so the first volley of the Lib GTK's Gatling did not bring the armor down to the Meta Midian, mm -hmm. and so that meant that it essentially did nothing. Like it brought yeah. the Meta Midian out of the engagement for a little while, but then they just dropped back down and joined it again. Yeah, um, <sighs> not getting any hull damage with the first volley of a Gap Mortar is very detrimental. Absolutely. Especially when you're hitting, uh, when you're hitting a pyramidian from behind, you should be able to get something.